Welcome back to Camp Witch Doctor. The next step in our build is to connect the receiver to our robot. So this is an exciting step because now we're going to uh, use the transmitter, the radio, to actually control our robot. So this is the last step before we get to drive it. So go ahead and open this box. The big white box in your kit is going to be your transmitter and your receiver is going to be in there as well. So this transmitter is actually the same kind that you use for remote control airplanes. Um, so it's probably familiar, you've probably seen it, uh, something like this before. And you're going to see that it has two sticks on it. Perfect timing. Uh, one stick is going to be for drive and the other stick you're going to use for your weapon. Um, and depending where we connect the speed controllers on the receiver is which sticks do what. So I'm using a lot of big words, but I know that you've already caught up on all of those because you've been watching all these videos. So um, building robots is kind of like its own language. So you're also learning how to talk like a robot builder. So when you go to events and you want to ask other builder questions, you know the right words to use. So perfect, that's your receiver. So go ahead and take that out. Um, so the receiver, you might be surprised to learn, receives the signal from the transmitter that transmits the signal to the receiver. Who names these things, right? Pretty straightforward. Um, so the only two wires that we haven't plugged into our speed controllers are these two that have connectors. Now you'll notice that these each have three wires instead of two, right? Everything is had red and black, but now we have a third wire. That third wire is your signal wire. So that is what the receiver is going to use to tell it what speed to go. Now you'll notice the, the speed controller looks like a little circuit board and that's because it does a whole bunch of thinking in there to modulate the speed of your robot. So take a look at your receiver and you'll notice that it has uh, different channels labeled on it. So it'll say CH1, CH2, CH3. For the drive speed controllers, which we're hooking up now, you're going to want to use channels 1 and channel 2. Um, that means that you're going to use channel 1 and 2 is going to be on this stick. So it's going to be the stick with your right hand. You'll notice on the left stick on your transmitter that it doesn't have a spring, so it stays wherever you put it. And that's going to work really well for a weapon. But for right now, we're going to connect it to the stick that is on the spring return. So you're going to go ahead and connect what they're called PWM cables. It stands for pulse width modulation. Um, and it really matters which way you plug it in. So if you plug this in backwards, uh, it's not going to work at all. So when we turn on your robot for the first time, if it doesn't do anything, um, that's usually the first thing to check is that these are not plugged in backwards. So you'll notice that there's three pins across on the receiver. We're going to hook it up in that direction. And you want the brown wire to be towards the outside edge of the receiver. So when we add your weapon, which is going to be a few videos from now, uh, we're going to hook that up into channel three. So it'll be the next channel down. If you had a really complex robot that you know, maybe it has a hammer and a lifter, or maybe it has a hammer that can spin around, then you'd use more of those channels. So you can see this receiver has up to six channels. So you can have a robot that has a right and left drive motors, channel one and two, and then you can use three, four, five, and six for additional control. So you could do pretty complex things with this uh, receiver and transmitter. But for now, I think with this beginner robot, one weapon is, is more than enough. <laughs>